Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kazmira. If you don't know me, what's up? I share all sorts of different things and today this is the first time I am filming a video like this Kind of I think the thing that I've been wanting to Focus on recently and the thing that I've been thinking about a lot is how I can make my closet a little bit more sustainable and ethical and I Try to help the earth in a lot of different ways like with plastic and chemicals I try to use as little of both of those as possible, but one thing that I just kind of ignored or didn't really ignore but like thought about but didn't actually do anything about was making my closet more sustainable and not supporting fast fashion because fashion is act and the textile world is actually the I think the second most harmful um, category of pollution in the world. I don't know for sure so don't quote me on that but I'm like 90% sure. Either way, if it isn't, it's really bad and I want to help you and myself make some sort of change and difference that will actually matter. So I, it always is about like balance. <laughs> we, know, we can try to find balance in everything we do. I'm obviously not going to like right away flip to being completely plastic free, completely chemical free, and also completely sustainable slow fashion closet because that's just not realistic so don't feel like you're gonna get that from this video and that you think that that's gonna happen right away because it's just not but i am excited for this video because i'm also going to be doing a giveaway with one of my favorite ethical clothing brands and i'm really excited so i'm in my office but i'm gonna take you to my closet and just share more of my feelings and like a few steps that you can take that i'm going to start taking to making a difference in my closet and them just because they're cute okay welcome to my closet that's evan's half this is my half i will say i haven't bought clothes in a pretty long time i actually just bought two sweaters last night but i just haven't really bought any clothes so when i go into my closet i just kind of hate it <laughs> and i feel like this is what's kickstarting um wanting to kind of like transition my closet. I've always loved designer things. I've always loved just like quality handmade stuff. I wish I had inexpensive taste, but I just have expensive taste. I have never been able to financially like purchase any of those items. So I'm excited though to just kind of make smaller steps to get there and to have like not all sustainable things are super duper expensive. It's just actually researching a brand um, and the clothes that you like and just not being so oblivious to fashion and different brands out there. So currently a lot of stuff in my closet is from Free People, Madewell, I'm looking. Some's from TJ Maxx, some's from Target, which those two are definitely both, both fast fashion. Um, and then a couple other more sustainable things that I'll show you. The first thing that I would suggest doing when it comes to your closet is don't hoard your clothes it's really like i have some clothes in there literally from high school so step one for me as i've been trying to like go through it what's the word i'm looking for dissect my closet a bit if you will and see like what i really love what i don't really love when the last time i wore it so definitely challenge yourself question yourself about your closet that's like step one step two is when you actually go to shop don't just buy something because you love it if this is your end goal if your end goal is to try to be more sustainable and just like thoughtful in the clothes you're buying don't just buy something obviously there's things that you love that are gonna be much cheaper than things at like free people or um an even more ethical clothing brand like everlane everlane's a really good one that i am excited to get some stuff from there eventually but just research the brands that you are supporting. Like, you know Forever 21 is fast fashion. There's not much you have to research there. But companies that even list sustainability and ethical clothing company in their Instagram bio or something like that, research it more. I bet that they have their story and their mission, like, on their website. So definitely research their goals. Make sure they're on, like, in line with what you value and what you, um hope to work towards i guess for your closet because 
Forever 21 is not sustainable. So in here, I need to clean it up a bit. A lot of this is also second hand. Like this is from the thrift store. Um, and they, they blah, 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 blah. this, these two blazers are also from the thrift store. Um, this is from Free People. Then I have some like, let's see, that's from Free People too. Madewell, um, Free People. Don't know what that's from. Okay. I guess a lot of it is free people. But then I have like, this is from Target. This is obviously like super cozy and cute, but I also know that I could have gotten this um, in a little bit. This is actually pretty good quality, but I feel like I could have gotten something a little bit more sustainable elsewhere, but I really love that. I got it for Christmas. So it's definitely a hard balance. I will also say find your like staple pieces that you can um style in multiple ways so like this dress for example you can get an ethical dress similar to this style just really like classic basic black dress you can dress it up dress it down kind of do whatever you feel for the day also don't be afraid to shop at brands and re-wear a dress like this you guys have seen me wear this dress so many times and this is my favorite dress in my closet right now it's by the brand luca which is a sustainable fashion brand i think based in la and i literally love that dress so much so don't be afraid of rewearing clothes another really great approach that you can have for your closet is secondhand shopping it doesn't necessarily have to be like from the thrift store um if you do want to support more ethical clothing brands like everlane or even designer stuff um you can shop on thread up which is a really good secondhand store. If you're looking for more even like designer bags or something like that, you can go to the Real Real. Thread Up also has some. Um, and there's a couple others I know online. I will link some really good sustainable fashion brands down below. Um, this shirt I'm wearing is really is from a sustainable company and I really love it. I wear this shirt all the time and it just makes a difference when you have sustainable clothes. Um, just because you can wear them more know that they're not going to like pill or become gross and they're just worth the investment so my goal with my closet is to weave through it and to just kind of take out those um take out those brands and clothing items that i either don't really wear or I don't really support the value and the mission of it and the quality is just not very good. So I'm really looking this year to transition my closet to have some like more minimalist type of clothing, um, but also super, well, but also a lot more like fashionable high end kind of look, something that is a little bit more creative. A lot of my clothes right now make, kind, make me kind of feel like blah. I feel like they don't really make me, um, or it, I enhance my creativity, I guess, if you will, with my closet. So that closet is going to be cleaned up. Obviously, though, when I am going to go through my closet, I'm not just going to throw all of this away. I'm either going to try to sell it on Instagram or Poshmark or something like that, or half the time I just end up donating it. Please don't throw away your clothes. That is not helping at all. If you're trying to have a more sustainable closet, just throwing away the clothes and the brands that aren't sustainable or that you don't love anymore is not going to help the situation. In fact, it's going to make it worse. So either put it, sell it to thread up, go to the thrift store, donate it to the thrift store, give it to your friend. Like there are so many different things and options in clothing and or with getting rid of clothing instead of throwing it out. So please don't do that. I actually don't even know if I've ever thrown out like I mean, I definitely have thrown out a couple of things before. Like, I'm not going to give old <laughs> underwear to my friend. But, I don't know. I usually just donate my old clothes. So, definitely donate your clothes. Don't throw them away. And that will automatically help you have a little bit more of a sustainable um, fashion and style. Because it'll really make a difference in the pollution that is going to the ocean. Okay? Great. So, I've kind of helped you with a few different ideas that you can use for your closet like shopping good ethical brands um cleaning out your closet to be a little bit more minimal and just full of things that you can love and have more variety that you can wear multiple times multiple ways and still feel like they're a different style and then also to 
donate your clothes and to shop secondhand. Those are all things that are really going to help you for your closet. But one thing that a lot of people don't think about also is your undergarments and the sustainability and ethical companies that are making bras and underwears and stuff that us as women have to wear every day even men if you're watching have to wear underwear i hope at least and yeah i just think a lot of people don't think about that either like so don't let that slip by i guess i'm trying to say like companies like victoria's secret are not sustainable they are one of the top fast fashion clothing brands out there so please stop buying your bras and underwears from victoria's secret also because the quality is and like materials are just not even good like i i don't even remember the last time i bought something from victoria's secret that is very much just not me and also just not good quality at all and i am all about quality over quantity well maybe not my underwear <laughs> But in general, like, the quality will last you way longer than something that's fast fashion like Victoria's Secret. So that's why I'm really excited to show you guys my new bra from True & Co. I'm also wearing this, like, normal black strap bra right now from True & Co. They are a ethical clothing brand that sells the silkiest, softest undergarments ever. The, like literally ever that I put on my body and I love them so dearly so I'm excited to work with them on this video they are actually kind enough to be doing a giveaway on this video and to be um, sending a pair of a bra and underwear to one of you so definitely keep watching if you want to win and I will ha also have and I will also have the um, giveaway entry details down below if you want to check them out. But I'm going to show you the bra and underwear that they just sent me. That is the exact same thing that you guys will be getting. Um, I'm going to put on the bra, but I'm not going to put on the underwear and show it because that's just weird to me. I hope as far as the closet goes and the clothes that you are actually like wearing above your undergarments. Um, and I, my tips help you in making some changes to have a more sustainable closet. So let me show you this bra though because it's for real. So good. We're actually real quick before I show you my bra and underwear, I wanted to fill you in on a little bit about True & Co. Just because I truly love them as a brand and what they're about. Um, they're a very ethical company and I've actually gotten a few of my friends to get some of their bras because literally everyone just needs this bra. I can't even explain it. Um, but I actually was messaging with someone earlier from True & Co. They were helping me and they just ensured that the, they just ensured that the garments and fabric that they use are some of the top in the world and the brands that also use the same fabric are some of the highest qualities in the world so I appreciate that and then they also have a code of ethics and standards for the age of workers, proper pay practices, work conditions, benefits, and safety. Um, so I really love that. Ideally with your closet and with my closet I would love to have a, it full of brands that are sustainable and ethical um, whether that's designer or just handmade locally type of clothing um, that is something that you'll want to strive for but obviously one step at a time making a small change is making a big change so anything you do will definitely help um, and then they actually sent me a link to their corporate social responsibility policies and they're all on their website so I appreciate that true and true inco is just super transparent with their mission and values of a brand of being a brand so you guys can check those out if you want but let me show you this bra okay so this is the exact thing that you can win in the giveaway which like i said will be down below but this is a different style bra so i'm really excited to try this on and then these are the true body boy shorts um which look so stinking comfy i wish you guys could feel this and i hope you can if you win the giveaway um but these i'm so excited to wear because they just look like the perfect granny panties and i love that for me but i'm excited let me try this on and show you so here are the details of this bra the pads are removable which i really like lifts up to one inch um comfort and yeah i wear a size small i could maybe i could maybe get an extra small but size small works really well and um here for wait that's upside down for future reference if you do win the giveaway here is their size guide so you can pause it and take a picture and figure out what size you want 
Okay, so this is the real life of filming a video, but here is this bra. It doesn't, this is not underwire, but it gives the um, action of a lift with of an underwire. This one is a new style that I do not have. It's so comfy, you guys. I really love it. I love like the full coverage and just how soft this is. It's insane. Um, let me show you the back. So this is the back. This one is more like almost like tank toppy. Um, the other one that I have from them is a V V neck and this material also, but it doesn't have that like push line underneath and lift. So I don't know guys, you really need this. Definitely enter down below if you want to win the giveaway because literally True & Co is the best. I love their bras. Even if you don't win, um, I will try to get a coupon code and put that down below, but I love this bra. So that's that, and honestly, I had on another one of their bras, which was so comfy, but I think I'm just gonna keep this one on because it's amazing. I am really excited to be doing this giveaway with them. I'm going to be doing a few more giveaways soon um, on YouTube, so definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. But overall, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I am excited to share more about sustainable fashion and just the brands that I find that are good quality, sustainable, and fashionable, obviously, um, here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me, my name, Kazmira Aldali, and yeah, just send over any questions that you have about sustainability, and definitely enter the giveaway, it's just too good to not, so definitely need to do that. If you guys want to see more sustainability type of um, fashion, and lookbooks, or videos, and tips, just definitely comment below so I can do more of that for you. I am here to help you, and here to motivate you to have a more sustainable closet, because I know that it's not easy in this day and age. There are always new clothing brands popping up, um, and like I said, I will link some down below of my favorites that are sustainable and A plus rating, so definitely check that out, and I will um, see you very soon because love posting two times a week. Completely unrelated, I am also working on a cinemographic video of our three weeks in Europe, so get excited for that. I'm really excited, and it's been very intimidating to start, but I'm gonna do it because I'm really excited. Okay, I'm rambling now, so love you very much. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.